What is going on guys? It is Crazy Dog back again and today we are playing Would You Rather. Now this is something I've seen online in a few different videos and it just looks super fun to both see maybe what my opinions would be on some of these questions but I also really like seeing how many other people might have picked something different than myself. So let's jump right into it and let's let's see what questions we're going to get here. All right, guys, question number one here. Would you rather be a head chef on a luxury cruise line or be the head chef at a White House? Now, a White House, the White House, there can only be one. Now, um, yeah, that's tough. I mean, at the White House, that's kind of cool. You can see some cool people, maybe. Like, I mean, Obama's kind of like a celebrity right now, so it's definitely different than it was in the past, but cruise ship you could see so many things unless the ship was just charting someplace shitty like I don't know I live in Canada right now so I'm not a big fan of the winters that we have what would happen if that ship just kept cruising around like Antarctica so I would need to know where the ship was but I mean at the White House I think that would kind of be boring and we've all seen Independence Day so that's usually a target for aliens. So I'm gonna say a cruise line. 58 people, 58% 58 of people have not seen Independence Day or White House Down or whatever that one was with Gerard Butler. So they're wrong. Would you rather discover the Loch Ness Monster or discover the Sasquatch? I would have to say probably the Loch Ness Monster um, I don't know, I think that's more of a viable thing than Sasquatch. I don't know why, it's just, I can't even validate that, but it looks like a lot of other people agreed with me, so that's pretty cool. Would you rather eat a worm straight from the ground or snatch a fly out of the air and eat it alive? I would have to pick a fly. Yeah, see, like, worms are mushy and, like, they would probably have a lot of dirt inside of them because that's what they eat. Like, I don't know if you've ever, like, taken a worm, pinched it, and, like, pfft, pushed all the dirt out of it. I don't know why you would have, but for some reason I have. Um, so, yeah, I would pick fly. Plus, generally speaking, they're smaller, so the disgusting factor might be over a lot quicker. Would you rather be the last human left on Earth or be dead? Um... It depends how long I was the last person on Earth. I mean, technically speaking, I could be dead right now. Or I could be the last person on Earth until the point that I want to be dead. Like, it should have said, be the last person left on Earth and cannot die. Because that whole immortality factor would be very hard to cope with. But, I mean, I would be fine with being the last person on Earth, I think, because then I could just go do what I want. I could run around the streets naked. I could, like, loot shit. I would have an OLED TV and, like, all of the latest video games to play for, for, for nobody on, on YouTube. Um, sad. But no, I would be the last person on Earth. And survey says that's about the same consensus as everybody else. If I were a pirate, would I rather have a pet monkey or have a talking parrot? Hands down, I would want a monkey. I mean, parrots are cool and it might be good for some conversation, but they get fucking annoying. There hasn't been like a talking parent, parent. There hasn't been a talking parrot in like a TV show or a cartoon that hasn't eventually got annoying. If you got a monkey, I mean, you could make that thing run around and steal stuff from people and you could do like acrobatic tricks with it. You know, if you got something stuck in the sails, you could just send it up the rope and it would go get it. Um, so I would have a pet monkey. Yes, you guys would too, apparently. Would you rather eat 300 donuts in four hours for $500 or drink a cup of sour milk for 50. Um, 
I would probably do the milk. I mean, that's a quick 50 bucks. Um, plus 300 donuts, I mean, that would give you fucking gut rot for days, I think. So we're gonna do the milk. Uh, wow. Uh, apparently I was totally wrong. But this is my opinion, I would totally do the milk. I think we've all kind of drank at least a mouthful, so to down a cup I don't think would be that bad. Uh, would you rather have surgery in a Mexican hospital or have surgery in an American Indian reservation closest to you? I mean, you could probably go to the casino if you were on the Indian reserve. Playful racism, maybe? Uh, that's tough. That's really tough. But I, I would have to pick the Indian reserve over... Um, a Mexican hospital, not to be like really shitty, but I mean, I don't imagine the Mexican hospital would be top notch care as far as sanity. San sanity? I guess people would be insane, uh, but it wouldn't be a sanitary, I don't think. So we're going to pick the Indian Reserve. Yep. Would you rather cut off your right hand or your left hand? I would totally let this guy go. That would be my left hand, obviously. If you do this, guys, do this. Whichever one you see that makes an L is your left hand. Um, but yeah, I am right-handed and I am not ambidextrous, so I use this guy for my mouse movements. I use it uh, primarily for one-handed typing, drink my coffee with it. Um, I drive standard vehicles, so yeah, right hand very important, and if I didn't have a left hand, I mean the amount of times that I use the left hand, I could probably just use like the stump, so I'm, I'm fine with that. The way the technology is going anyway, I could have a friggin biotic hand probably by like 2018. Would you rather have the crush of your dreams or have infinite amounts of your favorite appetizer? Probably the crush of my dreams, but uh, you know what guys? I'm gonna get sappy. I already have her Appetizers, you know what too much of a good thing is always a bad thing So my favorite appetizers if that's all I ever had probably wouldn't be my favorite appetizers anymore So we're gonna say the first one uh, 78% of us are love struck guys <laughs> Okay, if you were hit by a car would you rather have locked in syndrome with no cure in sight, die right when the car hits you. I don't know what locked in syndrome is, so we're going to look this up. Locked in syndrome. Locked in syndrome, a medical condition usually resulting from a stroke that damages part of the brainstem, in which the body and most of the facial muscles are paralyzed but consciousness remains and the ability to perform certain eye movement is preserved. So, I would be hit by a car, but I can't move my face muscles? Like, is it just my face? Can I still move the rest of my body and like my face is just fucked up, but I can move my eyes? Or is it that I can't move anything but my eyes? If it was anything but my eyes, fucking murk me right there guys I, I pfft, no thanks um, if I just had a fucked up face I mean I could I could deal with that that's not a big deal the consensus is wow okay so I must have taken the wrong thing out of that locked in because maybe it is your whole body and you could only move your eyes. In that case, I side with the other 82%. If my face is just fucked up, then I'm totally cool being the 18. <laughs> Would you rather have to hold your pee all day or have to pee every five minutes? I would totally be okay with holding my pee all day because if I had to pee every five minutes, I wouldn't have a life. Or I would just have a catheter with like the biggest fucking piss bag on it. So holding my pee, you know what? You would probably just live with it. 
I think it's something that maybe your bladder would adapt to and it would just become a normal thing. But um, peeing every five minutes just seems way too inconvenient. So yeah, a lot of other people agree. Uh, would you rather own 10,000 Mr. Potato Heads or own 10,000 bobbleheads? Duh, bobbleheads. Man, get those things going all at the same time. Be amazing. Would you rather have a very attractive spouse that treats you badly or have an ugly spouse that adores you? It depends how vain you want to be. I mean, you can have that trophy spouse that treats you like shit behind closed doors, but it's fucking hot. Um, I don't know. That would be like, I'm trying to think of somebody that would be, like, I don't necessarily think she's attractive myself, but picture um, like Kim Kardashian, okay? Like she treats her like shit behind closed doors. Nobody can see it. But like you're famous by association once you're you're married to her because she's famous. Or have an ugly spouse that adores you. I mean, I I personally would rather have an ugly spouse that adores me. Um, I am very fortunate to kind of have both of them amalgamated into one sort of Franken would you rather uh, because my spouse is pretty damn hot and she adores me, so. We're gonna pick the ugly spouse that adores me, and a lot of other people agree. Let's give this one more, guys. Let's see what we're gonna get. Would you rather, oh, oh, oh. Would you rather suck a hobo's toe for two minutes or be in a cage with a hungry badger and lion for 20 seconds? <laughs> oh God. <coughs> Thinking about that. Ugh. Um. Yeah, I don't know. Um, cause fucking a honey badger and a lion are gonna fuck you up in like three seconds. Um, but the hobo's toe is fucking gross. If the cage was big enough, maybe you could scale the side of it real quick and then hang off the top like Shia LaBeouf in that really awkward music video where he's dancing with that kid. Um, and you might be okay. You could probably even do more than 20 seconds as long as it's high enough that the lion's not gonna jump and get you. But um, I see no benefit or scenario in sucking a hobo's toe for two minutes unless it was one of those shows where they like get the hobo and then they bathe him and groom him and get him clothes. And then it's like, oh my God, look, you would never know he was homeless. Um, I would do it after that, uh, but we're gonna go Honey Badger. Yeah, okay, good. I almost threw up thinking about that at first. Um, so we're gonna leave it here, guys. If you like this uh, sort of series of this video, please let me know in the comments below. Um, this was something that I actually thought was really fun, and I'd love to know what you guys thought was the hardest question to answer and what you picked, and also what the easiest question was to answer and what you picked there as well. So until next time, my name is Quazy Dog. This was Would You Rather, and we'll catch you guys in the next video. Take care. Like I just got a bat. I just got a knife. All right, we'll get him when he comes around the corner. Oh shit! Where's the other guy?